Hello, and welcome to Tech Talk. Last week saw the launch of PayM, the mobile payment system that allows people to transfer money using only a phone number. While some have hailed it as a future of mobile payments, others have dismissed it as just a high-profile curiosity. We spoke to two experts to find out more. PayM's a, a really fantastic core infrastructure to allow mobile-to-mobile -mobile payments using those, the mobile number as that identifier. It means you can take control of your money so you know what's going in and out and also it's a way to just really easily move money about, particularly with friends and family. We're a nation that loves to help out. What we do find is that IOUs are not always paid back on time. Paying will ease those IOU conversations and make it much less awkward to ask for money to be paid back. While it's an interesting technology, it is unclear whether or not it will be widely adopted. A lot of people ask me what's going to happen in payments. What's the next five years of consumer payments going to look like? And frankly, nobody really knows the answer. But there are a few key pointers on that. Uh, Card schemes, PayPal, all of these things are really quite well embedded in what's going on today. And there's a huge number of emergent systems. Some of them will be winners, but it's not going to be a case that there's going to be a few winners. I think there could be as many as 50, 100, 100 plus different solutions. The market for payment technologies is becoming increasingly crowded, yet the financial industry has been criticised for not keeping pace with the new technology. I don't really think that the UK system is keeping uh, pace. When you look at where some of the investments are going, when you look at where some of the emerging companies are targeting most of their marketing spend and their, their business development activity, it's not in the UK. Some banks have faced a few stumbling blocks in rolling out PayM, which might affect whether or not it actually catches on. Frankly, my experience has been it's unusable and um, I doubt that I'd really be making any payments on it. Certainly the only payments I've made on it in the last few days are, are test payments to work out which bits of it aren't really working properly. Maybe I'm being a bit dismissive when I say it's just a high profile curiosity. It's certainly of interest to people, but as soon as somebody offers something that's much more usable, then the consumer is very fickle. They will just move to that. Convenience trumps everything. The Payments Council has predicted that by 2018, over 1 billion transactions will have been carried out using PayM. That is, of course, assuming that it isn't eclipsed by another service before then. Thanks for tuning into this week's Tech Talk. For more technology news, go to ibtimes.co.uk forward slash technology.